I apologize. I apologize for that, Pisces. I had somebody knocking at my door. So, okay. Um, for the Six of Cups, um, um, some of you have been looking back to your past, concentrating on what wasn't successful. Um, and that's being clarified by the Page of Cups in reverse. So you didn't, you felt like you, and this could be centered around your children as well. Um, but I'm not necessarily seeing that. I'm seeing more that you were expecting something that didn't come. And the magician is clarifying that as well. Um, you thought that they would come forward and make this happen, make this new beginning. And they didn't because there was secrets behind. There was things you didn't necessarily know when you got into this situation. And uh, so it didn't work out the way you expected it to because it wasn't what you thought it was. Can I get a clarifying card for the Eight of Pentacles, please? The overall outcome card of the week. Can I get clarifying cards for that? Okay. So, geez. Okay, Spirit wants me to take all these. So the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You're not wanting to do put any more work in. Um, you're going into a hangman. You are going to... You need time. You need time to take a step back from this situation. Um, take... A breather, um, kind of regain your own thoughts and reassess what has happened. Um, you are finding out of somebody having a third party could possibly be at work, um, but doesn't have to be. But you are just now finding that and you are going to choose to move forward, move on. You are going to move on with emotional pain, emotional baggage, but you are moving on nonetheless because you still have to get through these six swords before you move on to the seven. Um, the King of Swords is here in reverse. So, you know, you're just, you are just cutting people off. You don't even want to hear about it. And you are not even going to be, you're not even going to defend this anymore. You've been defending it for so long that you forgot what you're fighting for is what Spirit is saying. Because even you are starting to question and here you're going to, you're just going to lay the burden down. You are going to walk away um, from whatever this is. Does not have to be love. Um, not necessarily, but it definitely could be. I do see a situation where this, this is love. And for some of you, this is a work partnership. Um, a partnership could be like business owner or just um, somebody you work with, but uh Last card, the devil. Yeah, so it's time to walk away, Pisces. Uh, the devil clarified that last bit. So there's a lot more going on. Um, for a group of you, I'm hearing that you're finding out your partner has um, addictions. Uh, could be gambling, gambling money away from the company. Um, could be an affair uh, that is going on at work. So you, no matter what Pisces, you are walking away from the situation and, um, you're going to go into hangman phase and just, uh, really reflect on what you want to do next in life. So good luck to you this week. Let's do our single Pisces for love. Spirit, what messages do you have for our single Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus in regards to love for this week? Okay. Okay, we got judgment in reverse as your central issue. So, um, for a group of you, you are coming out of a relationship. Um, you were waiting for them to make a choice, or they were waiting for you, and the other one just decided to end it abruptly. Is what I'm getting here. The Nine of Cups um, is the single card in most tarot decks, but this one it is the um, uh, oh, what am, what's the word I'm looking for? 
Like you thought that this was going to be everything, your wish come true. You thought it was going to be your, um, oh, I cannot think of the word. I just went blank. But anyways, they th you thought that this was going to be the one, um, but it was it is not. It is not the one that you are meant to be with, with the judgment here in reverse. And the six of chalices upright, you are thinking about somebody from your past. Um, with the two of wands clarifying the judgment, um, you knew. You knew a clear and direct path that you wanted to take. You knew who you wanted to be with, but the other person did not feel this way. You have the Emperor clarifying the Nine of Cups. So, yeah, you just thought he was king shit, you know. Um, and in your uh, future outlook, you have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So you're still not even getting clarity of why this ended. But Spirit is encouraging you to use your intuition and to trust the universe that this is not meant to be, to leave it alone. The Five of Wands, um, the Stalker card, um, you they have moved on. And you are either keeping a close eye on them or the other way around. But Spirit is saying to let it go. Because in your future, you have the Ace of Chalices. And it is not with the person that you are thinking about. So, um, yeah. Move on from this person that you just ended things with, Pisces. Because that is not the one that is sent to here with you. That is divinely uh, meant for you. They were a lesson, a karmic lesson, so let it go and move on because your next relationship is what is meant to be for you. So that message was for a certain group of you. These will not resonate with everybody, obviously. Um, it's for the collective, so if it doesn't fit, um, try again next week. And if it does, just take out what parts do and leave the rest. So Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus exclusively dating and married couples. What messages do you have for our Pisces couples for the week of the 4th through the 11th? Okay. Okay, we got the hangman, the magician, and the eight of wands. Wow. Okay, so for a group of you couples, you are... Um, deciding what step to take next. These are for the couples that are not married um, because I am seeing for this group of you, you are trying to decide whether to make this um, a marriage or an engagement or or leave it as um, just a committed relationship. The magician in your past, you made this happen. You manifested this, Pisces. And in your future, you have the eight of wands. So very positive, open communication, um, open, um, sexually, you are very explorative together. Um, temperance, this person brings you balance. Um, yeah, the balance, the two of pentacles. I mean, it's just, this is, this is beautiful Pisces. This is awesome. The wheel is coming into reverse. So something is not right just yet. You have the queen of wands and the hermit in reverse. So, in the future, there could be a possible um, third-party lurker, but you have the Ten of Cups, so I do not feel that they are going to um, actually be able to come in between you two, but just be cautious because they are there, and the Two of Wands. So you guys are going to, you're going to be just fine. For those of you who are thinking about getting engaged, Spirit is saying to go ahead and... Um, because this is meant to be. I am going to do another one. Um, Spirit is saying to draw another three new cards for our couples. So this message must be intended for somebody that really needs to hear it. So here we go. Okay, we got the hangman again. Temperance again. And the wheel. Okay. Okay, these are for three separate groups. This is odd. I've never had, I've never been directed to do it like this. So we're just going to go with it. Three, three cards each pile, three different situations. Okay. So for a group of you, you are with a partner that you feel is your soulmate, your twin flame, and you are correct. 
This person is bringing you into a new world, a new balance that um, you have never experienced before. Your emotions and your heart just flow so ebb and flow that it's effortless. And, um, and your souls are just perfectly mirroring each other and starting to marry into one. So what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful message. Um, you also have clarifying that the six and seven or no, the six of swords. So very passionate, very, um, emotional and like it's logical yet. It's, it's filled with emotion and passion. So, um, and then you have these seven of wands and spirit is saying that this person is willing to do anything for you and you for them. One more card. And you're just, you're going to, spirit is saying you are going to come into, um, challenges, but to not give up because this is your twin flame and you're going to have a rough road ahead of you. This is for a group, the group of you that are in that bubble phase. You just came together. It is wonderful. You can't freaking get over how perfect this is. And you haven't yet hit the separation or the runner chaser phase. And spirit is warning you against that, that it is coming. So be prepared, um, be positive, keep the faith and don't go nowhere because it'll come back to you. So for the next group of you, you have the hangman. You are thinking whether or not you should um, stay or go. Um, you have the nine of swords in the past. So <clears throat> kind of, it's very cutting, like it's raw, like raw emotion, but it's very soft too. I, I, it's like you can tell this person feels so much for you, but they can be so cutting with their words sometimes. Um, the Eight of Chalices is in reverse for your outlook. And, oops, I just put those on top, didn't I? Let me get those four cards off. Okay. So you have the Queen of Chalices, the Five of Pentacles in reverse, and the Sun. So for this group of you... Spirit is saying that you should move on. There are, um, you're not seeing what is actually going on behind closed doors. And what is going on is um, possibly something that you don't want to know. So Spirit is saying to trust your intuition, trust your gut, um, open your, open your um, view up a little bit, I guess you could say. And, um, because he's saying it's right in front of you. So don't, um, deny what is so right there. Um, for the next group of you, you have the wheel and things, good things are going to be coming your way. You have the 10 of wands, passionate, hot fire energy. Um, things are, I mean, it's just one of those type of things where you don't care where you're at what you're doing, you are going to let your emotions pour your sexual attraction. Um, and this is some like knockout drag out good times in the bedroom. <laughs> um, the two swords, you are going to have to make a choice though. And you are choosing to leave. You are choosing to start over, um, fresh. This may have been a little bit too much for you. And yeah, and you're finding out of deceit. You are finding out about that third party and you are denying this person a new fresh start. And spirit is re reminding you to please keep strength. You can get through this. Um, what is meant for you is out there, um, but it's not here where you're at right now. So um, yeah, Pisces, I've never had that happen to me before where three has asked me to do that. So that's a first, but um Obviously, those messages were important for um, whoever it was that needed to hear it. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed your weekly reading and I will be back next week. I'm sending you love and light and I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful week.